will be loser semis. So we're very close to wrapping up this low tier bracket. Oh my gosh, Auto Radical actually beating that pill? <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> I kind of would be surprised, but I know that, like, Luigi's Fireball cancels out a lot of stuff it shouldn't. No. Like, it can cancel out, uh, uh Falcon Kick. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. That's silly. Oh, trying to get an up tilt string started, but, uh, uh, hate MD punishing him for not going for the grab. Just the grab here on himself, and, oh, oh. try to go for the up B if you need to go up. No, I'm safe up B. Vex opting to pop the balloon. Smart play. Okay, very nice up air strings, but he was too low to get a fourth one off. I tried to just reflect, get some space out. Hayden D was not looking to approach. <laughs> yeah, right now. Oh, that read. Excellent. It's probably Let's that go. DK play that Vex is known for, but right now he's just pressuring Hayden D's uh, Palutena right now. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Mario, not quite the grappler that DK is, but... True, Vex... but the back airs are just as useful. Yeah, and Vex has definitely got solid fundamentals, mm -hmm. so... It's gonna be, you're going to be hard-pressed to beat someone Capes. like that. I think that was the last reticle. I don't know where the other two went, but he taped the last uh, projectile there. Ooh, trying to get some pills out. Yeah, again, uh, hate punishing him for throwing out an aerial on his shield. He yeah, but that like... platform was just setting up uh, his recovery just fine there. Just gotta pressure him off that side when that platform isn't there, or just Mario can recover high. Alright, yeah. A little bit of foot sees. Oh, okay. Got that grab after that shield. We're trying to go for that gim, not quite working out for him. Yep. A lot of pri a lot of priority on that dock up there. Just go for down. Let's see if he can. Alright, gets forward. Uh, pressure off stage here. Gets him with the neutral, and it. Oh, no, wow. yeah, it sent him the wrong way. Still not gonna make it. Yeah, too far out. <laughs> Look at that recovery, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Hate MD very fond of uh, warping back on stage, mm -hmm. punishing people's edge guarding over commitments. Oh, double jump to get rid of that auto radical. Bit of footsies, a lot of sh uh, empty hops. Yeah, it looks like Hate MD is just not able to get much of an edge right now. Mm -hmm. He got that position on the platform. Yeah, Palutena Paul needs a little bit of time and or uh, just like a cool off from pressure in order to get her like grab setups, I'd say. Or you have to be able to read uh, after a missed smash or a missed tilt or something like that. But right now, Vex, like you said, his fundamentals are on point and he's just not letting up any opportunities right now. And despite that, hate of D with a pretty good juggle there. Getting oh, next okay. to a semi-dangerous percent. The back air, force him off stage. Can Vex get an edge guard here? No, warps back, like you said before. Very fond of doing that. Vex will catch on, though. I I, I don't doubt that. Dash back, okay. Ooh. Yeah, he noticed he was too far out, so he went for the ledge trump after that uh, up B. Yeah, just a little bit too late, though. Oh, this is scary. Hayden D's definitely looking for something. Vex, Vex is probably looking for an up smash. Vex is not going to give it to him. <laughs> Breaks free from that. He was just trying to get damage applied. Ooh. Oh, good read, but it, Okay, wow. Even without the sweet spot. Yeah, there we go. Hate MD just waiting for his opportunity. Vex giving it to him. That's mm -hmm. uh, not the way he usually gives it to people. <laughs> <laughs> usually it's in a cargo up throw to up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> None of that with Doc. I mean, uh, Vex was holding himself really well, so, like, very, very minuscule gameplay adjustment, if anything. There were just, like, a couple circumstances that didn't, uh, go his way. Yeah, no, this is pretty interesting, because, uh, uh, I, I guess we're gonna have to see, Vex is, has his hand on his face like that. I know he plays DDD and Ganon. Mm -hmm. Just cuz. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, how favorable the matchups would be against Palutena. I don't know if it'd be any better than his Doc. That might be what he's deliberating right now. Okay. Yeah, it didn't look like they were dis uh, discussing stage before it, so Vex is probably considering character switch. Yeah, still deep in thought. Oh yeah, this is loser semis, so one yep. wrong move can send you out, so. Yeah, a lot on the Especially line with here. the 
And it sounds like we are getting double started off stream as well. All right, and Vex is going Ganondorf. Yeah, and there we go. I'm not too sure about this, but we'll see how it pans out for Vex. I mean, yeah. I, I I did hop on like as soon as we saw. Uh, uh, I was commentating actually Vex and Ganondorf for one match. Yeah, uh, but that but that uh was that uh customs? <laughs> oh yeah, that was customs. That's yeah. my fault. Ganon's a little more scary in customs. But he's still a very punishing character, and Vex definitely knows how to use him. Oh, yeah. This is probably, like, the closest he could get to DK, if anything. Yeah, Vex, king of the heavies. <laughs> <laughs> That'll leave him open, yeah. Just gotta be careful throwing out that up smash. It's kind of what we saw before in customs, too. Oh, I'm surprised they just didn't go for a jab or an F-tilt there. I don't know if it would have punished, but I know that auto reticle has a bit of up. lag. Vex catching on a little bit to that warp back on stage, but not getting the correct punish. Yep. Right now, Hatem D is just rushing him down, trying to get this jab grab set up. And he gets a grab off that, uh, what is it, Warlock kick? I want to say. And this, uh, yeah, the, the, the thing that's going to be tricky for Ganondorf here is his... Ooh. Oh, it, okay, didn't exactly pan out the way Hatem D wanted there. The, the, the thing about Ganon is his uh, his uh, approach options. Wow, great retreating Boy, fair. And the taunt too. Jeez, Vex feeling himself a little bit. He's got a bit. He's got a bit of work to do before he can be comfortably in the lead. I'd say. Well, I mean, he is a heavier body, but because of that, Ganondorf has a little bit of a recovery issues off the side. Yeah. Oh, especially with Palatin as a uh, edge guarding that Hayden D is showing right now. Yeah, the thing you have to worry about about Ganon though is if you if he gets the stock up, immediately you have to be worried about edge guarding him because of that side B. Yeah, and that down air to forward tilt almost closed the gap. Uh, well, not didn't close the gap, but it brought him about halfway in between where the percentages were at the time. Uh, Hayden D just not able to make up any ground right now. Yeah, and I'm not really seeing so much of a rushdown tactic from uh, Vex here. Mm. DIing in, that's going to be a free up there. He goes for the taunt himself. Right. But I think Vex will start to bring the rush down a lot more since his last stock. We usually saw that when uh, when his last stock option, he usually pressures the, uh, the player a lot more. Yeah. Uh, the problem with Ganon, though, is he kind of loses to projectiles. His ground and air speed are both incredibly slow. His approach options are pretty much side B and down B if yeah, he doesn't this is get in. Really, uh, I'm not sure about this tactic that Hayden D's doing. Like, he's staying on the ledge, which is very dangerous at high percents, but he's just throwing out auto reticle and just spacing out Gandorf right now. Uh, I mean, the, I, I think it's working pretty well. It worked last match until okay. he got that forward air. He's been playing a very patient game style the whole entire time he's done this tournament, and it's been working out. Goes in with a dash attack, tries to get an edge guard, but nope, snap two. No good neutral air there. Oh, almost got that grab, but not quite. And yep. an up to, uh, up air, very nice. Yeah, actually, quick ascension there from Vex, mm -hmm. despite Ganon uh, having very slow horizontal speed. Yes. Uh, a quicker vertical than you'd think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the taunt that he threw out was worth it in the end. <laughs> <laughs> no taunt to get bodied here. No. Yeah, so looks like the G again it worked out pretty well for Vex here. Yep. I'm going to have to see uh, what Hatem D is going to try and counterpick here. Tournament Dream round for both players here. Yeah. Dreamland here again. You know, this will go on the loser's finals to... I'm not sure who's actually playing the other, the other side there. Oh, that forward air does so much shield damage. All of Ganon's moves do so much shield damage, you can't be blocking for too long. Mm -hmm. And that's good. Uh, Polytena can uh, prolong her jab a lot longer just because of how big and how heavy Ganondorf is. Because it racked up a fair amount of damage just there before. Oh. Yes, Hate MD still playing the spacing game. If he can play that immaculately, it's going to be incredibly hard for Ganon to get in and get his damage. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, the wind, I'm not sure if he wanted to go off stage or not. I don't think wind pushes off stage unless he go up. Yeah, it's my fault. Oh, right now keeping this pressure up. Yeah, this is what I want to see. Uh, he's, he's not controlling the stage very much, but it doesn't, it almost doesn't matter. 
because he's just forcing Ganon to approach, and Ganon approaching Ooh. is just unsafe. <laughs> yeah, and he's also using the, the platforms a little bit to his advantage, too. Like, if Ganondorf is doing a lot of empty hops, keeping up just, like, empty pressure to, so he can't approach, he can just go on top of platforms and try to find a way to close the gap that way, too. Yeah. All right, just a lot of empty hops from both players. Pelotino yeah. with the quicker options out of empty hop. And that'll send Ganondorf up and away. Yeah. This is Vex's tournament stock for uh, low tiers. Man, and come to think of it, that might that down throw up air might be true on Ganon because his airspeed is so bad. <laughs> uh, it's a possibility, yeah. Very nice combo, almost lapping in percentage. Yeah, the juggle's working out. I, this is exactly what I'm seeing. That up throw, okay. Shot the crotch there. Okay. Vex, <laughs> Vex looks like he's at a loss as, as to what to do. Just charging an up smash. He, he's he, he's not able to approach. Hayden D is just far too far too good at keeping Vex out. Yeah, good adjustment from Hayden D. This is my last it. round. Oh, just missed that down air, and Vex does get back. Yeah, I mean, I don't like that option for Hayden D. He could have just back there. Oh, and taken he shouldn't have rolled back. That was a perfect opportunity to get a grab combo again, and that could have potentially taken out if he was high high enough. And despite. Despite a little bit of a flub, Vex still very far behind. He's still only, he's only gotten 48% on hit MD. He's got so much ground to make up. Ganon's yeah. a hard hitter, but the problem is he's not getting any hits. He needs to start throwing out that back air more, just predicting hit MD's movement in. All right. Actually getting good. the shield drop there. Tries to go for the uh, grab, nice. uh, dash grab there. Oh Come no, on. that forward tilt is not going to connect because of the crouching animation. Just leaving vulnerable. Oh, he yeah went for forward air instead of reading the air dodge. Yeah, that dash attack's going to beat anything. He get anything. He read the air dodge. Very nice weight from Hate MD. Yeah, that patient play style definitely paying out there, especially against a Ganon. You don't want to rush down a Ganon <laughs> yeah, if you true. don't have to. Because if yeah. you overcommit, he destroys you. But if, he, if you make...